those are the groups, they would be anti-Pauline. Why? Because they believed in the law of Moses and thought you first had to come into the covenant uh, to accept the law of the Moses and the covenant um, before you could claim to be heirs to the covenant. Now Paul is arguing very vociferously against this in Galatians. He feels the covenant's a curse. You shouldn't take the law on yourself. Circumcision is a curse. As you know, Muslims circumcise themselves. Why? Because of the Hebrew covenant. That's why. Uh, you know, and all these other and all these other all these other groups. They don't circumcise themselves the same age as uh, Jews. And I said in my biblical class the other night, didn't I, that Ishmael is circumcised at 13 in the Bible. I think that's where the Muslims get the idea of 13 from, from circumcision. In any event, in any event, uh, they do more or less follow the law of Moses, and Moses is a hero to them. They certainly prefer Moses to, to Paul. On the other side of it, they're having the same troubles that Paul has with the Jews in Medina. The same troubles Paul is having with the Jews in Asia Minor. So they turn against them. The same way Paul turns against them in Christianity. Uh, because they mock, like anybody would mock the, the claims and things like that. That's just the way people behave. If you're not gracious, and you're supposed to be charitable. I mean, a Christian is supposed to be charitable. You're supposed to turn the other cheek. You're supposed to love your enemies. I don't see any of that in Paul's writings. It's not one iota of love or charitableness or anything else. All I see is a massive ego going insane in terms of his own claims. But I see no love, no charity, and no loving your enemies. <laughs> but uh, I know that's what Christians say is uh, supposed to be believed. But uh, you open Paul's uh, letters and you'll hardly see you hardly see as any 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 uh, any uh, any evidence of it, and the problem there, of course, is that's what inquisitions are based on. Paul says, "If anyone teaches a gospel different from my own, let him be accursed." Look, do I make myself plain? If anyone teaches a gospel different than my own, he is to be accursed. Well, that's the basis for seeking out heretics, right there. W what letter is that in, by the way? Well, see, even believers don't know where that is. It's in Galatians. It's almost in the, it's in the very first chapter of um, Galatians, where he's fighting tooth and nail against the groups that I'm talking about. I mean, he's talking about the groups in Galatians. He, he, that's who he's talking about. Not Jews, per se. He's talking about Jewish Christian groups that he disagrees with. He's arguing. Groups that have a different Christ than he has. He's very, you know, he's very attack-minded. There's no, as I said, charity there at, at all. One point he talks about circumcision. He says, there, obviously he says in the end of Galatians, oh, tell those who are disturbing you, meaning the communities he's put down in Asia Minor and um, Greece, tell those who are disturbing you, I wish they would themselves cut off. Meaning that they're being disturbed by circumcision, and what he wants them to do is cut their own sexual parts off. That, 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 that's, what he's, that's what he's saying. You say, are you sure that's what he's saying? Yeah, it's a ribald joke on circumcision. And he's, and, and you see, to say such a thing means that you're really, uh, you've got a lot of uh, aggressiveness in you. A lot of aggressiveness in you. Now, I, I said this to an average Christian, now look at me daggers. Because uh, I haven't read the material, and they, no one's ever explained it to them like that, because these are saints, so how could they have a, aggressiveness in them? But if you then step outside of your upbringing, of your world, become a scholar, an academic, read the things, um, with an open mind, uh, you know, in a critical way, you'll see that that's exactly what he's saying. And it's, it's a very cruel thing to say. I wish they would cut their own sexual parts off, basically. And we see that the issue is circumcision. That's the issue all through Galatians, the circumcision. He's against it. Prophets for it. So obviously he's not going to mention Paul. But his attitudes are the same as Paul. He uses Paul's method. The same method Paul used against the Jews Muhammad used against the Jews and the Christians. This young lady is looking at me rather dubiously, but I can assure you it is true. And you wouldn't uh, know it's true unless you read Paul. So you can't evaluate what I'm saying until you read Paul. When you read Paul, you'll see that it's the, it's the same approach that, that, that Muhammad or the angel takes. Uh, now, I know all this is miraculous, so I don't have, you know, I, I, I can't, you know, tell you who's taking this approach, the angel or Muhammad. That's for you to decide. But, uh, 
since, as I said, in universities we can't deal with miracles, we do deal with those in mosques and churches, um, I'll just take the simple approach, it's Muhammad. If you want to take the miraculous approach, that's fine too, I'm not against that. However it, however it is, and it may be miraculous with Paul in Christianity, Paul thinks that he's in touch with what? Christ Jesus in heaven. He has a straight line through to Christ Jesus in heaven. He calls the line that he has to Christ Jesus in heaven, where he gets all his ideas from, an apocalypsios. An apocalypsios in, uh, in uh, Greek.